Hello everyone, I'm Henry Lee, BlueHeronArts.com. Today we're going to show you a um, very special um, seal carving process for um, MD. Uh, we have two very special stones here. This one is for Andy's uh, sister to mark a live event. Uh, the content of this seal is uh, uh, the name uh, translated into Chinese and uh, with a flower decoration as uh, it's a uh, lily kind of flower because the Easter is on, on the corner and uh, she's a Catholic. I wish the best uh, for her with this seal um, and uh, this one is a Special seal for Andy's uh, wife. Uh, it says, uh, Dream come true. And it's a very nice uh, stone, a uh, burning stone with a dragon top. And this is a very special stone, also it's, uh, called the Tian Huang. It's a very uh, rare stone. Okay. Now we'll do the, uh, let's do this one first. Okay, the first step I'm going to do is to uh, send off the surface wax that may come with the stone. remove the wax and then we'll trans transfer the design onto the stone with the uh, special process I learned from uh, a internet friend also uh, actually local uh, he works in Kinkos and he introduced me to this uh, special uh, liquid called acetone and it's also a nail polish remover you can use uh, you can find in cosmetic stores uh, what we do is we wrap the stone with this uh, laser jet it has to be a toner printer laser jet printer uh, print and then we put uh, acetone on, on the back side of it like that I kind of need to align a little bit better. It's kind of difficult with the art shape on this side. Try. I just use my palm. I used to use a scrapper. I don't need that. I find you just press with the palm. Palm and uh, before the moisture. You evaporate completely, you lift, lift it. Okay, I think it's good enough. The characters are fine. The flower is uh, uh, freehand work, so you don't need much uh, reference. Just a hint of it, it's fine. If needed, I can use a, a marker pen uh, to kind of uh, enhance it. A little bit like that. Just leave it uh, for uh, free carving. Okay, I will just hold uh, the stone in hand with uh, a big knife. So this uh, flower is the most uh, uh, interesting part. I want to do it first. To start from the bottom. One stroke for the stain. Just 
the stone has a different um, quality, like a sand in it sometimes. So once you get hit a sand, you just have to work around it. Uh, you know, that's why we cannot really do the computer uh, font exactly. You would be in a, in a hand uh, written style or uh, drawn style. the leaf and uh, the stain. Now I'm going to work on the petal of the flower. Okay, and now we're ready to work on those uh, characters. The first uh, character, Shen or um, Chen, means uh, sincerely. Stone has uh, really uh, various uh, qualities. It's kind of hard to make an even cut, <laughs> but you will find it's very interesting and natural uh, style. So that's why I draw my design with a mouse uh, instead of using the computer. Sometimes I use it as a reference, but I redraw it uh, always to keep the style in a handwritten style, so I can go with the flow of the, the stone, the chi of the stone.
And this style I'm doing is called the uh, in or negative carving. The next one uh, will be positive. It would, uh, the stroke will be red. This one, the stroke is carved out. Believe it or not, this is more challenging than the positive carving, which you carve out the background. Because when you carve the stroke, you cannot make any mistake. You won't have a chance to make up. Okay, now the second character is a Jen or Churi. Sincerely, Churi, the last character, the, would be the power uh, of morality. These are very delicate curves. It's kind of uh, difficult to seal engraving because you have to turn uh, the stone and the knife coordinately, uh, both hands. So the result will be smooth. It's very challenging for beginners to do this kind of curve. Last character is the de of power um, and the morality, moral power, if you like. I found my small knife. Do this little detail. So the one of the characteristic of this. Uh, um, carving is the antique uh, look, the old stone look. That's what uh, Andy is uh, uh, trying to to get from his commissioned uh, personalized seal. So <coughs> we'll make the stone look very old. The uh, intended uh, thought is uh, one of the ways to do that. So we need to make the margin kind of old. With 
intended cross like this, knocking the stone. And you can also try to create this kind of chipping effects. But it's kind of hard to make it natural. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, some fine tuning. Just make uh, some small adjustment here and there. Make sure the details are all harmonized. The strokes are uh, even but not exactly the uh, same width. You know, so they're kind of balanced with uh, some kind of uh, ink effect, not just the stroke, but some smearing, some dry strokes are all part of the intended uh, uh, artistic quality that we're looking for in this uh, final stage. Some uh, flying white, even uh, some thought connection of the uh, strokes are intended so you make it more natural and uh, old, you know, very um, natural look. Okay, I will uh, clean up and I will uh, I'll make a imprint to show you how it looks like. Okay, now we are going to make a we're going to make a first imprint now. This is a large stone. We need a large uh, ink. Or you can make it into a dome and then make a, a, the loading little by little. Here's the design, and uh, we're going to put the real thing. I try it's very hard to get all the details. Oh, I like it. I think this corner is a little too high, so we're going to knock that out a little bit. Okay, let's make a official input. my recent uh, work. You can find uh, five such uh, uh, collection books in an e-book format and with the links to uh, carving video documentaries uh, is on my website. You can get it for free if you order custom design wood seal or name seal from me. You'll find the link under this uh, video. Okay, now we're going to make a official imprint in this uh, collection album for this uh, special gift seal. Anyway, this print is okay, so we're not going to make a 
uh, copy for for the client, maybe make it two for Andy and uh, his sister. Carefully, with left hand holding the paper so it's not stuck on the stone. Okay, that's perfect. How beautiful it is. Okay, make another one. Okay, and that's it. Maybe you clean this up. This is a very nice uh, Tianhuan yellow filled stone. It's a, uh, you can see this uh, used to be in the water, so you can see this uh, skin, this uh, the marks. Okay, finally, I'd like to thank uh, Andy again for your commissioning of doing this seal, and uh, thank everybody on YouTube. For watching and stay tuned for the next seal dream come true seal